It's Valentine's Day. Grab a partner and let's hit it. So you may have guessed it, today's exercises are all about partners. So everything will be a partner exercise, either switching off and on or using your partner to be part of the exercise itself. A couple of things you will need, something small to pass back and forth, either a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or a weight plate. A mat is also nice. And of course, water, towel, uh, positive attitude, always helpful. So let's dive right into it, starting off with our plank quakes. So I'm gonna grab a mat here. One person is going to be down on the ground in a plank position. Partner is going to be standing straight over top of you person on the ground will be trying to keep stability here, working our obliques and rotational muscles of the core, while the person on top does the shaking. Alright, so that's the demo. Start here in, say, another 10 seconds or so. Get your position in place. Remember, the goal is not to knock the person over, to shake them up as much as you can. Three, two, one, hit it for 30 seconds. Those of you on the ground, keep your stability, keep your stabilization. Try to resist going to one side, getting pushed wherever you're being <laughs> tossed around to. Person on top, mixing it up, changing directions, keeping it surprising. Here for about five more seconds, hold the plank strong. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, time for sweet vengeance. Switch positions. The same thing, sphinx position, or straight plank down the bottom, getting in line with the hips on top. We'll get going in another 10 seconds. Make, make sure everyone's in the right spot. Five, four, three, two, hit it. So adjust your, adjust your power, adjust your motions if your partner really doesn't want to move at all, <laughs> which defeats the whole purpose of resisting the rotation. You can add a little bit more force to it. Here for another five. If I'm four, resisting. Three, two, done. Then I'm not going to move. <laughs> all right, up to our wheelbarrow plank squats. So again, this will be a trade-off exercise. One person will be down on the ground. Giving your legs to your partner in a wheelbarrow position. We're gonna be doing this simultaneously. So as I'm going down, Christine will be doing a squat. So we'll do three, two, one, down, up, down, up, down, up. We'll do that for about 30 seconds. Then switch just like we did with the plank. Try and follow along with our timing. Um, if you're not going to work with, with our timing, find something that works for you. <laughs> Otherwise, you might end up in a weird position, but I'll, I'll probably entertain. All right, get going here in five, four, three, two, down, up, down, down, down. Go as low as you can, down, with the push up, down. Doesn't need to be to the ground, down. If you need to, down. Here's fine. Down. Ten seconds to go. Down. 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 Five. Down. Three. Down. Two. Last one. Down. Done. Let your partner get back down to the ground safely. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll trade positions. Five seconds to get in the right spot here. Three, two, one, hit it. Down, 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 down. Really, you should be leaving the calls here. <laughs> Go switch. You're good. All right. Down, down. Halfway done here. Down, down. 
down, five seconds to go, down, three, down, two, last rep, down, done. Back down on the ground. Thank you. All right, up to our number three here. Leg raises and throws. Get rid of this for the meantime. So another case, switching off with the partner. I'll be down on the ground here. Ground partner grabs standards legs. Basically what we're doing, lifting the legs up, throwing the legs down to the side. Much like the plank, add a little bit of variability to it, make it unpredictable so the partner has to brace against the motion. Allow yourself to go to be thrown with it and then recover back to center and lower yourself back down. We'll get in position here, we'll go for another five, four, three, two, and go for 30. I'm gonna rely on you to see the clock because I cannot. So remember those of you on the ground, move with the initial motion, let the force of the throw carry you a little bit, and then come back to center, working those rotational muscles, stabilizing the core. We're a little more than halfway, five, hip, four, three, two, and done. I was watching the clock, and then I got carried away with <laughs> knocking you down. Should have said, count down with the clock, not just, there it is. I, I see the clock. I see it. That's good. C plus for effort. All right, get in your position here. We'll go in five, four, three, two, go. Bring those legs back all the way to the ground. We're close to them. Throw your partner for a couple loops here and there. Might mean backhanding. <laughs> Might mean variable force. The point is to stabilize the core, resist the urge to rotate, to be pushed around. We have two, one, and done. Good job. Thanks. All right, so we're halfway through. We've got inchworm hand taps next. We're gonna take a little wider positioning here. So how this will look. We've got a good amount of space between us. We're going to start standing upright, lowering down. You can bend your knees here. You're going to walk out to your partner in a straight plank position. Tap right hand, right hand, left hand, left hand. Walk your way on back. When you get to the top, give it a hop. We'll do, what do you want to say, eight reps of this? Sounds good. All right. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, hit. Bent knees, walking out. Right, right. Left, left. Walking back. Hop. One. Thank you for counting. Didn't lose track yet. All right. I did. Two. So far, so good. Walking on down. Bent knees. Right, right. Left, left. Up to three. Right, right. Left, left. Get back for four, into number five, counting well so far, more than I usually do. That was five? That was five. All right, spoke too soon. Number six, two to go. Walking out, right, right, left, left, up and hop, for number seven. Final one? Yep, right, right. Left, left, coming back, final half. Nice work. Good counting. <laughs> Little cardio component to that one. As always, if you need to, pause the video, catch a breath, drink some water, towel off. When you're good to go, come back, resume, and we'll go with the bo boat, boat hold and pass. Bottle, talking. All right, here's where you want to get whatever object you found. It can be a ball, it can be a weird shape. As long as it's small and easy to pass around. Both of us here will be doing the same thing at the same time. 
going into boat. That's back, about a 45 degree angle. Legs up and straight, keeping the back up, resisting that urge to arch down. Coming under the legs, passing, making a figure eight or an infinity sign. Grabbing from your partner, passing back around. All right, we'll start here. Another 10 seconds, we'll give this one 30. If you need to, you can tap your legs in between, give yourself a brief, brief break. Holding that boat can sometimes be a little bit difficult. Starting here in five, four, three, two, hit it. Passing under the legs, grabbing from the top, switching hands, passing back down around. Keep those legs as straight as you can get them. Back straight, looking forward, work to your partner. Keep the core tight and engaged. We're here for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, done. Nice job. All right, we're down to our last one for the bonus. All right. Right back. So here you can either grab a plate, a dumbbell, kettlebell, doesn't really matter what you use, as long as it has some weight to it. This will be a squat plate pass, or a squat dumbbell pass, depending on what you're using. Get yourself about uh, two arms lengths apart. You'll be holding the plate out in front of you, squatting down, coming back up, your partner will grab it, pass back and forth to each other, squatting together, passing the plate back and forth, sharing the weight. <laughs> we'll go here for about another 30 seconds or so, starting here in 10. Five, four, three, two, down. So remember to keep good form with your squat. Toes facing forward, about hips width apart. Not tracking those knees too far beyond those ankles. Looking forward with a nice neutral spine, straight back, engaging from the glutes. Weight driving up from the heels and the back of the foot. We're here for another five, four, three, two, done. Nice work. I did go pretty quick, but we are on to our Mr. Bonus. I'm ready. What do we got? We are doing sit-up tosses or sit-up passes. Sit-up tosses or passes. What should we use? I'm going to go with medicine, medicine ball. ball. You can use here. Weighted medicine ball, basketball, soccer ball, football if you want to get creative. Anything you can really toss or pass back and forth. What we're going to be doing, taking a seat on the ground. We'll do the, uh, the fancy method here. So we're going to interlock heels. So my heels are on the outside, coming in, touching behind Christine's shoes here. You want to do a toss or a pass? We'll show them both. Alright, so toss first, coming up. Tossing when your partner is ready. Catching, bring the ball back down. Coming up, catching. As for a pass, just reach out, hand it to him, reach back. All right. I'm ready. All right, so we'll start with, we'll do the pass. We'll give it, what do you want to say, 30 seconds, 45? 30 is great. Two minutes, 10 minutes. 30 seconds. All right, so we'll start here in five, four, three, two, hit it. Can I have you also watch and notify me when the clock counts down to the 30 second mark? All right, <laughs> do my best. And no we go promises. Extra. We go extra, we go extra. Remember to bring that ball back to your chest, even if you're doing the pass method. If you're doing the toss, make sure your partner's ready. If you need extra support, use your partner's heels to pull against. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, done. Right. Nicely done. Thank you for, for clock watching. <laughs> so that's all we have for today. Thank you guys for joining us. Your bonus challenge for the rest of the week, make exercising together a habit. No matter if you're just going for a walk, a run, lifting together, rock climbing, whatever you have, do it together. 
It's more fun that way. Thank you guys for joining us. Please remember to press like, subscribe, ring that bell. As always, if there's anything you'd like to see us do in the future, please leave a comment down below. We'll get to that in a future video. And as always, no matter where you are in your fitness journey, you'll always be with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.